Noise. Yeah. Ooh. Today is my off day. I don't wanna go in, don't call me. Don't hit my line, ain't gotta cut the I ain't gotta wait in line for coffee. Man, I'm about to chill, I'm about to play the game. I might just Uber eat the hot wing. I might Uber eat me the hot wing. Gotta get a happy meal for the day. But I'm cool and I ain't gotta go in the work. I'm so tired of having a sweet day. I'm so hell tired of having a cook dessert. I'm so damn tired of getting my back hurt. Man, I'm so damn happy in my off day. I might just slide a massage in. Stay splendid, stay splendid. It's your boy Splendid Gamer EGW back today with another episode of Let's Talk Boruto. And today's episode, we're gonna be talking about chapter 80 for Boruto. Chapter title: What Dad Would Do. Now, I must say, this was a phenomenal chapter, y'all. Phenomenal, probably the greatest chapter ever. But sadly, after this chapter, we won't get another chapter till about September. So there's going to be a whole lot of speculative theories going for after today's chapter. So we start off the chapter with Boruto still running away. And, you know, Shikamaru pretty much in shock. And it's like, yo, like, Ada, are you sure that the Hokage is there? And pretty much, Kawaki, he grabs Ada by the shirt. Like, you know, pretty much threatening her. And, you know, she gives him this look. And it's like, yeah, I'm sure the Hokage was killed by Boruto. And, you know, Shikamaru's pretty much like, oh, man, it can't be. And, you know, Kawaki finally lets go of Ada, and he's like, good, you know. And we go forward, and we see, like, Sarada trying to calm Mitsuki down. Like, yo, like, stop. He's like, we'll talk later. I just need to go after him. And then that's when Shikamaru relays to everybody in the search party that uh, not only has Lord Seven been missing, but it's a strong possibility that he's already deceased and Boruto did it. And upon hearing that, you know, Sarda looks shocked, Samiri looks shocked, and Samiri is pretty much like, no way. But then she's looking to the sky and she's thinking back to what had just happened. And it's like that flash earlier, something's happened, something's huge. Sarda immediately breaks down to her knees and it's like, Lord Seven, dead? And Mitsuki, he's still looking angry as hell. And she's like, you know, Sarda's starting to cry. It's like, I don't understand what's going on. Mitsuki's like, go rejoin the others, I'll kill him. Mitsuki takes off and he's like, you will pay Boruto. So we get to see this nice shot of Sarda crying. I must say, the drawing on this chapter, phenomenal. Phenomenal drawing, guys. So... You know, now they say, now he's a Hokage killing Osuski and Konoha's number one enemy. He's no longer welcome here, so what Kawaki's saying. And Ada's pretty much like, did you really have to go this far? Kawaki's pretty much along the lines of, at the very least, no one will interfere with me killing Boruto anymore. And we get to see this shot of World, uh, Naruto and Hinata in the Daikokuten dimension with all the like rods and cubes around them, they're just floating. And he says, Yeah, I won't release them until after I've dealt with Boruto and Cole. But as long as they're there, everybody's safe. And he's like, For all intents and purposes, to Konoha, the Hakai is dead, and it's Boruto's fault. Then Damon instantly comes in, tackles Kawaki to the ground. It's like, hey, I finally found you. You better not have messed with my sister. And pretty much Kawaki's like, get off me, darn brat, or I'll kill you too. Ada's like, what? Yeah, right, I dare you to try. Then we get to see Sarada still down on the ground, you know, crying. And Sasuke runs up and Sarada. And Sarada's like, dad, he's pretty much asking her, is she okay? And where's Mitsuki? I thought he was with you. Sarda is in like pure distress mode and she's like dad meets he's acting strange he says he's going to kill Boruto he's out of control he isn't himself Sasuke has this stern look on his face and is like I can't blame him in fact it's perfectly a normal reaction Boruto almost killed Kawaki and then Naruto and Hinata and you know Sarda's like dad Sasuke still looking serious as ever says I'll stop Boruto before he leaves Konoha you go back to the village and then Sarda's like wait hold on dad and she's thinking to herself like what what the heck why does why is even dad saying such nonsense what's wrong then we get Samiri coming in over the mind transfer telling Sarda like yo like answer if you can hear me 
just like I need to ask you something about the current situation. Like, do you think you're your complete sound mind right now? We get to see more uh Boruto running through the forest or whatever, and he notices one of Enogen's uh cartoon birds. As he notices it, Chocho comes through with big hands, instantly slaps my boy Boruto backwards. And once Boruto ends up sliding backwards, he slides onto one of Shig Shigadai's shadows. Shigadai is there saying, I considered you a friend. We all did, Boruto. But then I hear, you didn't just try to kill your bro, but Lord Seventh of all people too, he took you in. And pretty much Boruto is like, Shigadai, Enogen, Chocho. And that's when we get the famous lines from uh, Shigadai. That just ain't what a friend does you hear and we get back to Sarada pretty much saying am I upset on mine I'm not sure things have been so weird since a bit earlier and Sumerian pretty much tells her to calm down cause you know you should be fine me and you both actually uh, Sasuke is still watching as you know they're having the conversation within their heads like are you okay Sarada are you pale are you injured and pretty much Sarada keeps you know asking Sumeria like hey do you know something and she pretty much tells her like I don't have it all figured out yet but given the facts I'd say that's Ada somehow involved and pretty much Sarada's like what do you mean how can Ada be related to this and she says similar to the phenomenon where all who see her become a captive I believe there's something happened to everyone it's only a possibility Especially if you and I aren't affected. So Sarda's still sitting there, you know, confused as hell. She's looking at her dad who's still confused like Sarda. Like, are you good? And so, you know, they're still continuing that conversation. She's like, everyone, like just earlier, everyone was chasing Kawaki. Then all of a sudden, now they're trying to find and kill Boruto instead. And Samir is like, that would never happen under normal circumstances. It's clear some na non-natural power is at work. Something powerful like a Shinjutsu. Ada must have done something to save Kawaki from his predicament. That's the only thing I can think of. And Sarada looks like she's talking out loud this time. And it's like, but this is too cruel. Why can't Boruto ever get a break? And then she starts crying again. Now, uh, Samir is still talking and says, either way, you and I are the only ones who can help Boruto right now. And yet, I'm not sure what we can do. And Sasuke is still looking concerned. He's like, Sarada, talk to me. What happened? Sarada is crying so much right now. Like, you know, so many tears rolling up in her eyes. Tears rolling down her face. And, you know, she's like, Dad, Boruto isn't guilty. We would never kill Lord Seven. Everyone's being duped. And Sasuke's like, Boruto may be an outsider. I never had any weird pre prejudices against him. But the reality is, I can't ignore the fact that he tried to kill Kawaki. And Sarada's wide-eyed and still crying says, he didn't. You got it all wrong, dad. It switches back to Boruto versus the Inashika Cho Trio. And Shikadai's like, do you, do you get how we're feeling? That you betrayed us like this? Hmm, Boruto? Say something, you monster. Shikadai yells out. Boruto, he hasn't really said anything to defend himself. And then here comes Momoshiki and says, uh, what a bind. Kill or be killed. Though it's not very shinobi-like to take down former friends, is it? Let's switch. I'll slaughter them for you. And Boruto pretty much tells Momoshiki, shut up, stay out of this. <laughs> we get back to Sarada and Sasuke. And it's like, uh, you've done enough, Sarada. Go home and rest. I'm sorry, but I have to go. And then we get this nice uh, panel of Sarda like grabbing her dad's like cloak. And you know, Sasuke is looking down more concerned than before. And she says, You don't have to understand what I'm saying, but could you please just listen to, to the first and only selfish favor I'll ever ask? Sasuke's eyes are getting wide. And then we get the moment of truth Sarda's Mangekyo Sharingan which looks like a sun pattern or almost like freaking mecha sonic when he's like spinning or whatever really cool design Mangekyo Sharingan Sasuke says to himself as he's staring at Sarada's eyes and she says please help Boruto okay dad Boruto, uh, you know Sasuke's still looking super concerned or whatever 
and then we switch panels and we see uh the karma starting to creep up more to his arm he's like uh Mama Shiki, if you dare hurt my friends, I'll never forgive you. And uh, Mama Shiki's like, your friends? I don't see any friends here. In fact, you don't have any at all. Only enemies. Just admit it. You know it already, don't you? That everyone wants you dead. There is no one. There is nowhere you belong. No reason to live. So go to sleep. Forever. And instantly, as Mama Shiki's staying at, Boruto gets yanked by the collar of his coat. And Shikadai's looking confused as hell too. Uh, Boruto looks and is like, Uncle Sasuke. Sasuke is like, come, let's get out the village. And Inajin, he's like, uh, why Master Sasuke grab Boruto? So Boruto and Sasuke are now running through the trees. And Bo uh, Sasuke is pretty much now explaining how he first met Kawaki. <laughs> I first met him when I happened to stop by Naruto's house for a visit. That day, he asked me to take him on as a student. He mastered the Rasengan in a flash and fought Momoshiki with me to save Naruto and we won. That's who Kawaki is. He's Naruto's son, according to my mind. And then he looks at Boruto. Ada happens to be watching everything with her and tells Kawaki, head back without me. I need to do something first. Boruto and Sasuke finally get outside the village and they rest there. And, you know, pretty much Sasuke is like, we should be safe here for now. The sensor unit won't find us. They won't, though we won't deceive Ada for long. So we'll rest a bit and then go. So pretty much, you know, World was like, Uncle Sasuke, you think I'm Konoha's enemy, don't you? Why are you helping me? And Sasuke explains, he's like, that headband, it's the one I gave to Kawaki. Yet you have it for some reason. And that's not all. I know you're there, Usasuke Momoshiki. You should be inside Kawaki. So why are you here? Several things are troubling me. But at the same time, I can actively feel in my mind each thing drastically bothering me less and less. It's quite terrifying. I never thought until now how completely undependable my own memories might be. I don't know what to believe anymore. And so I decided that even if I doubt myself, I believe in my daughter, the great Sasuke Uchiha, aka Girl Daz for the win right here, y'all. And Boruto's pretty much like, Sasuke. <laughs> Sasuke's like, I should help you because my daughter wishes it. That is worth risking my life. Fucking goat right there, y'all. And Momoshiki's like, is he in his right mind? He's going to help Boruto for his daughter, even though he perceives Boruto to be an enemy. I may be in a, you know, and so Sasuke says, I may be in the process of committing a monumental mistake, so prove me wrong and validate my daughter. And, you know, now Momoshiki's talking to Boruto, and he's like, don't let it go to your head, Boruto. This one man's help won't change the fact that you've lost so much. Omnipotence happened. That's the unmistakable reality. It's totally different from momentary deceptions like Genjutsu. As in, Ada will simply trigger. As in, Ada was simply the trigger. Even if you were to kill her now, it would not reverse the changes that have already taken place. Boruto, he's not, he's not hearing nothing. Momoshiki saying, "My boy says you're being awfully chatty, Osasuki. What's got you so panicked?" We get the serious panel of like Momoshiki, like when his eyes just look at, and then he just goes into a rage, bro. He's like, "I'm saying that your role here is finished, so stop being a sore loser, you imp, and hurry up and hand over your body already." And Boruto snaps back and he's like, "You got balls to talk about being a sore loser. Give me a break. You're the one who needs to stay backstage. How about you act like the dead piece of crap you are and stay silent for once." <laughs> And Momoshiki, he's sweating now. He's like, the damn brat. What crazy mental resolve he has. Then, in comes Data, uh, Ada and Damon. And Ada's pretty much like, I know the apologies won't cut it, but I'm still sorry, Boruto. And, you know, Sasuke, he doesn't seem to be under Ada's ability at this point. That's a different talking point for later. But pretty much Sasuke is like, so this is Ada and Damon. And... You know, Damon's looking menacing. Ada's like, do you already know what happened to you? And, you know, Boruto reiterates, Kawaki and I switched places, is what I was told. 
And Ada says, I only wanted to help Kawaki. That's all, I swear. It seems I did something unintentionally. I never imagined it turn out like this. Something similar happened before, but by the time I realized that everyone had become my captain. And so Boruto's like, you unconsciously desired that, and your true power omnipotence made it reality. And Ada says, so that's what it is. What a total drag. And Boruto says, and this right now, it's reflecting what Kawaki wanted. We see Sasuke drawn with a serious face like he's taking in all the data. And she says, you're so calm about it. I thought you'd be totally depressed. And Boruto says, oh, I'm crushed, all right. But even more so, I can't stop thinking about him. The insecurity and the loneliness that I'm feeling right now, he's lived with, his whole, with all his life since he was a kid. The polar opposite of me. I thought I knew him pretty well, but I guess it was pissing him off that even though I never knew hardship, I was acting like I understood. Ada says, maybe, but I think he does acknowledge you as a true brother. That's how it seems. We see Damon on her back yawning, and Boruto's kind of like smirking or whatever. Then Sasuke starts talking, he says, Naruto, he also had nothing, just like the current you. And he was shunned by many people. But he became Hokage by proving himself through his own actions. If you are truly his son, as you say, then show us just as he did. And then we see Momoshiki looking angry again. He says, damn, Shinobi, yapping on unnecessarily and interfering with the perfect opportunity for me to make him despair and lose his will to live. This is bad. This line of talking is extremely bad. It wasn't supposed to go like this. And Boruto starts talking to Momoshiki and he says, you should know that I never for a second consider this is losing everything, Momoshiki. I've got flowing inside me the blood of my dad, 7th Hokage Uzumaki Naruto. My mom's Hugo blood and my granddad was the 4th Hokage. And most important, I am a Konoha Will of Fire ninja. In fact, I'm the one who drove Kawaki into this corner. The one who drove Kawaki into this corner was none other than me. He's got his own sense of justice. He tried to resolve the Momoshiki situation, even with the risk of dad hating him, resulting in him killing his brother. It's all due to my weakness. I can finally see that now. I can't let this end as brother killing brother. I gotta get a lot stronger and turn this into a mere quarrel between siblings. That's what my dad would do. We get this amazing shot of Boruto and Naruto standing side by side so you can, you know, still see the resemblance that Boruto looks just like his dad. <laughs> and uh, Ada drops the comical line and says, Boruto, are you sure you're only 12? And Boruto's like, what? That again? Who cares? And then Ada's like, well, unintended or not, I also played a part in bringing about the situation. So it may not make full amends, but until you run turn to Konoha, I promise not to look for either of you, no matter what Shikadir or Kawaki say. And then, you know, Boris was like, Ada. And she's like, Kawaki's just coming off as a coward right now, and it's my fault. It totally makes me sick, that's all. Boris says, I'll take it. Please let Sarada know uh, my thanks for sending me Uncle Sasuke. And not to worry, because I'm definitely going to come back. And Ada's pretty much like, I'm not an errand girl, you know, but fine. And Damon pretty much tells Boruto, you know, get tons stronger while you're at it. Enough that I have to fight you at full strength for the first time in my life. Boruto laughs and says, uh, I don't think I've got enough lives for that. Sasuke says, let's get going. For even without the Sinri gun, I doubt Konoha will stop pursuing us. And Boruto says, yeah, thanks so much, Sasuke. And Sasuke says, it's not because I believe in you, but for my daughter. And we get the shot of Sumire and Sarada standing next to each other. And Sarada's in her head saying, Boruto, Dad, please be safe. Then we finally get to see Koda. And he's saying, Jigen, Ishiki, and Ada. For your crimes of stealing all that I hold dear, you shall pay with your life, Boruto. And then we get a shot of the Hokage Mountains with Hok uh, Naruto's face, of course. And then we hear Kawaki, it's no use hiding anywhere. 
I'll kill you so long as you're in a Suski, bro. And then we get to see Boruto saying, bring it on. I'm still showing you. I'll show you till you're begging me to stop. That I'm Boruto Uzumaki. Ooh, y'all. So what do we take from this chapter and where do we go from here? So, after reading this chapter, I totally believe that we're going into the time skip after this. There is no reason for us not to be going into a time skip after this, unless what they're going to do is cover up a few uh, plot holes. Um, the plot holes that are in question that I'm thinking are uh, with Amato, because one thing's for definite, two things for sure. Amato is there for Kawaki, you know, but not Kawaki Uzumaki, because if Kawaki Uzumaki is supposed to be drawn to the sun, that means Amato never experimented on Kawaki in their eyes. So we got to find the gray area into why Amato is still in the village and how he's supposed to be of help now. Because if he just told Shikamaru before all this happened that he had a shutdown switch in Kawaki, now that would mean that uh, Shikamaru would think that the shutdown switch is inside Boruto. But Boruto doesn't have a shutdown switch because Boruto was never worked on by a model. So that's that one. Secondly, um, freaking Sasuke. All right, so Ada's omnipotence. I believe now that um, what the new desire that happened for Kawaki. I don't think everybody's gonna be super in love with her anymore. I mean, it was showed that those first couple soldiers that pulled up, they were still infatuated with her. But, um, you know, seeing Sasuke's reaction when Ada pulled up, he didn't seem to be blushing or anything of that nature. So, it could be a possibility that with her doing that for uh, Kawaki, that she lost her ability to make people fall in love with her. Um... As far as the rest of the Konoha ninjas, I don't know how this is going to play out, man. Because, I mean, you know, I'm pretty sure the Inishika show, they're not going to keep trying to pursue after Sasuke and Boruto. Like, it's one thing to go after Boruto, but they know they can't get the Sasuke. You know what I'm saying? Um, I would love for uh, Sasuke to take Boruto to Orochimaru. So they could try to figure out some type of way to, um, you know, stay in the hiding safely. But because Yamato was there and all the Rochimaru's hideouts are under surveillance or whatever, you know, it might be kind of hard for them to even go pull up on a Rochimaru. But because I myself have been wanting a Rochimaru to be in the manga in some way, shape, or form, that would be grand for my type of fan service. <laughs> Um, a lot of people still speculate about Kashi Koji. I still believe he's in the wings somewhere. I don't believe they completely written this character out. I think, you know, it would be best to see Kashi Koji after a three-year time skip. You know what I'm saying? Because then, you know, I don't know. For all intents and purposes, Jirai, uh, Kashi Koji could be at Orochimaru's hideout. And they just like waiting for Sasuke and him to pull up. <laughs> If that happens, that means Boruto has a three-man squad, you know? But the fact that Boruto was able to, uh, you know, not fall in despair, I honestly feel like Momoshiki's prophecy was malarkey. I'm hoping it wasn't. Like, you know, y'all just hyped up this whole, like, oh, Boruto, you're going to lose everything. Just want to, like, not really lose nothing. I mean, yeah, he got kicked out the village. You know, he lost his last name. But for, for the most part, I mean, he's he's still him, you know? Sarda still believes in him. That was like his number one friend from like the jump, you know? So, the the writing on the wall for the uh, Ada versus Sarda and Sumiri, oh yeah, that fight is going to go crazy, y'all. That fight is going to go crazy. Um, I mean, I'm pretty sure everybody that loves, you know, to see the uh, the women fight in anime, they are gonna love that fight because um, Sarada with her new manga kill Sharingan, she's gonna be a beast, bro. I'm not sure what all her abilities are gonna be, but for the most part, I do know Sarada's gonna be a monster, bro. 
a monster. Or, uh, you know, she broke, like, the, the cycle of hatred between the Uchi for the Uchiha has been broken. And seeing that she was able to awaken hers without seeing anybody have to die. That means, um, I don't know, I don't think anybody's gonna die on her watch. You know? Um, Momoshiki did say people that, um, are immune to omnipotence usually suffer the most, so, I don't know, Sarada's gonna have to lose somebody, whether it be Shikamaru, or Konohamaru, maybe even Sakura, which I hope doesn't happen, not the way how the Sakura fans have been going on, but, Sasuke's going from the village, again, and this time for, like, you know, a good reason, he's going to go, uh, you know, train Boruto. Like, I think this is a dream come true for Boruto fans and Sasuke fans because we always wanted Boruto and Sasuke to get their, like, training together because we never really got to see them train at all. So, we finally get to see that. Or we might get to see that. Who knows? They might do us, like, Naruto and Jiraiya and just, uh, have Naruto pop up after the time skip. And it's like, oh, yeah, like, I'm strong as hell now. <laughs> Like, I've been training this whole time. <laughs> like, it's so much that could happen right now. And I'm actually really excited to see it. I mean, you know, I know people were speculating that, uh... You know, Naruto might be inside the Daikoku Ten training or whatever. But, I mean, that theory just got busted and blown to oblivion. Because, you know, him and his wife are in there sleeping. Trying to find a way to, I don't know. I don't know. All I know is, um, the next Hokage... I don't know. I think the next Hokage is going to have to be, uh, Kakashi. They're going to end up bringing Kakashi a sensei. Uh, it's Hokage because uh, Shikamaru has done too many blunders of him, like himself, and Shikamaru would not be fit for this position. Um, sadly, you know, it's under Shikamaru's watch that you know they end up letting the motto in. It was Shikamaru's call to uh, bring Ada into the village. You know, it was Shikamaru that talked to Kawaki that told Kawaki to calm down in turn which made Kawaki end up going to go seal the Hokage away so I mean we might actually see a situation where Shikamaru gets kicked out the seat you know and then we're not even talking about the other Kages cause you know you know Boruto and Sasuke are gonna be marked by like the whole like ninja world cause the Hokage is dead and technically Sasuke is hanging with the Hokage killer. So, I mean, we could finally see Shinki come back in the manga and have Shinki and Boruto duke it out in actual manga format. Oh man, that'd be gnarly. That'd be gnarly. But then there was also that thing about um when Kawaki said that Boruto could put his karma on code. Like, we still don't know if these guys are gonna try to put karma on anybody else. As well, nobody mentioned Himawari, and that's kind of concerning me. Um, I mean, Sarda's a busy ninja, but I hope, like, maybe Sarda can, like, train Himawari, or maybe even, uh, Hanabi, you know? But, right now, we can't let Kawaki, we can't let Amato, or any of those people near Himawari at this point. Because she's the last of the Uzumaki slash Hyuga family of the, you know, Naruto's. And, you know, with her thinking, oh, um, you know, Kawaki's my brother. Like, no, Kawaki's not your brother. <laughs> Kawaki's not your brother at all. <laughs> I don't want this to be a situation where Himawari gets uh, tainted with revenge. And all of a sudden, now she has to try to go kill her brother. That would ruin my heart. That would crush my spirits and all the other kind of good jazz. You feel me? But I mean, we got we got months to speculate. We got months to make videos to just talk about what we think could happen 
should happen and will happen. All I know is Amato can't be trusted. Amato must die. We must protect Himawari at all costs. Sarada for next Hokage, future Hokage. And uh, free my boy Boruto. You dig? <laughs> free the Hokage. <laughs> free Hinata. Because they wasn't supposed to be in there like this. It's all Kawaki's fault. Oh man, it's all Kawaki's fault. But this is all I have for this episode of Let's Talk Bros. So y'all please leave a like. Don't forget to leave some comments. Don't forget to check out the other playlists on the channel. You did? Um, yeah, man. This has been a great one, dog. This has been a great one. I'm going to miss the anime until it comes back. I'm going to miss the manga until it comes back. I'm going to stay splendid. You did? Don't forget, like, subscribe, stay splendid. I'll be back with more. You dig? Bye.